everyone. Welcome to another Steam at Home with Miss Erin. And this week we're going to make popcorn mosaics. Now most of you probably have some popcorn lying around in your kitchen or maybe you have some outside on your corn stalks that you're ready to take down. But all you need for this is some corn. Make sure it's the hard corn, the popcorn kind, not the kind you get in the can. You need some water, vinegar, food coloring, and some glue. So to dye my popcorn beautiful colors like this, this is the recipe you wanna follow. Two thirds cup of water, two thirds cup of vinegar. You can put this in one container or a baggie. One tablespoon of food coloring, and then one cup of corn. You can change this, the how much corn you put in. You could probably put up to about two cups of corn, but then you wanna put two tablespoons of food coloring in. You need to let it sit at least overnight um, to get it a bright, bold color, and then take it out with a slotted spoon so that you're just left with the colored corn. Once you have your corn colored, all you need is some paper and some glue and some creativity to make a mosaic. A mosaic is a picture or a pattern usually made with some kind of hard substance like tile. You might have seen them when you're walking. There's always some kind of mosaic pattern in tile. So I started mine. I'm making a sun kind of peeking out here. And you can see all I did was put some glue down and now I'm just putting the popcorn on it. This of course will probably take some time to dry because it's liquid glue. If you don't have liquid glue at home, you can use a glue stick. I do prefer using the liquid glue. Let us know if you need some liquid glue at the library, we can get that for you. And then when it dries, I might, I might add some more over here, little tiny rays over here, but you can add whatever you want. Be very creative. This is just a fun art project this week. Have fun. Make sure you stop by the library. We have some dyed popcorn kernels for you if you don't want to make it yourself at home. If you need glue again, just please let us know and make sure you share your creations with us at Sharpsburg Community Library on Facebook. See you next week.